Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's around 10.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 9.15 a.m. Central Time on Saturday, November 16th. Coming on this morning with the latest on Tropical Storm Sarah, located just off the north coast of Honduras this morning. Uh, the Tropical Storm has been moving very little overnight, but has now started to drift toward the west, northwest at about two miles per hour. The center is located just to the east of Isla Roatan here in the Bay Islands uh, of Honduras. Uh, the main threat from Sarah continues to be uh, very heavy rainfall. The potential for life-threatening and catastrophic flooding along the mountains here in northern Honduras. You can see the shower and thunderstorm activity not quite as well organized as it was yesterday, but still heavy rainfall continues and will be the primary threat with the system uh, as it starts to move a little more quickly toward the west, northwest and northwest and moves inland over the Yucatan Peninsula uh, during the day tomorrow. Uh, right now, the maximum sustained winds are estimated to be about 45 miles per hour. And if we look at that forecast here, we're expecting Sarah to start move a little more quickly toward the west, northwest, and northwest uh, to, um, with the forward speed increasing more to five to 10 miles per hour over the next uh, couple of days. We're expecting the system to make landfall here along the coast of Belize sometime Sunday morning and then move inland over the Yucatan Peninsula and reaching the northwest coast of the Yucatan Peninsula sometime Monday morning as it weakens to a tropical depression due to land interaction. And then we're expecting the system to dissipate sometime uh, during the day, uh, uh, overnight hours Sunday or even into Monday. Monday uh, before the remnants move out over the Gulf of Mexico. We still have tropical storm warnings in effect everywhere you see in blue here for much of the northern coast of Honduras, the Bay Islands, the Caribbean coast of Guatemala, the coast of Belize, and portions of the uh, southern Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico from Puerto Costa Maya southward to Chetamal. Uh, we're going to see those tropical storm winds continue in the warning area in Honduras today and then spread into the warning area from Guatemala to Belize to Mexico uh, later today and tonight. But again, the main threat continues used to be the heavy rainfall. Again, we're looking at storm total rainfall amounts of 15 to 25 inches, isolated totals as high as 35 inches along the northern coast of Honduras. Uh, going forward, the heaviest rainfall is likely going to be here along the northwest coast of Honduras, up into Belize, portions of Quintana Roo, western Nicaragua, western Honduras, portions of El Salvador. The, uh, but the, the biggest impacts from the rainfall are going to continue to be here in northern Honduras with the potential for life-threatening, uh, flash flooding, catastrophic impacts from landslides. But again, there is that broader risk uh, elsewhere in Honduras, Belize, El Salvador, eastern Guatemala, western Nicaragua, Quintana Roo for five to 10 inches of rain, storm total isolated rainfall amounts as high as 15 inches. Uh, so let's look here at the key messages again and uh, go over the hazards here one more time here on this Saturday morning. Through early next week, heavy rainfall from Sarah will cause potentially catastrophic flash flooding and mudslides over northern portions of Honduras. Elsewhere across much of Central America and the Mexican state of Quintana Roo, Belize, we're going to see heavy rainfall that could cause significant and life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides. Tropical storm conditions are expected along portions of the northern coast of Honduras, the Bay Islands and the Caribbean coast of Guatemala, the coast of Belize, and portions of the coast of Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula where tropical storm warnings are in effect. A reminder, all of our products, including the key messages, are available in Spanish on hurricanes.gov. So this is going to be our last live stream update on Sarah from here at the Hurricane Center. You can always come back to hurricanes.gov for the latest information on the storm. Those of you in Central America should uh, look for local uh, information from your National Meteorological Service and your local emergency officials. Uh, that's it for here at the, this Saturday morning at the National Hurricane Center. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.